just a, just the pounding of, uh, of the, the heavy guitars and the drums. I think. It's just a very heavy sounding, which is uh, you know rock rock hard rock and heavy metal is kind of like ACDC. Every time you hear an ACDC song, you just want to just drive fast and you know same thing with this song. People just love this the sound of the guitars, the sound of the drums. I was the lead singer in a band. It was all built around the song Black Betty. Bill Bartlett had that song. He'd been playing it in clubs for, who you knows, years, literally. Um, he had the original uh, Lead Belly version that uh, um, he played. And so when we put the album together, we split songs. He sang some, I sang some. And that was already his, so I wasn't going to take it away from him. I would have liked to have, but. And now I wish I did, but now that's that was his song. You know? Oh, Black Betty, Bam a Lamb, whoa, Black Betty, Bam a Lamb, she really gets me high. Bam a Lamb, you know that's no lie. Bam a Lamb, she's so rock steady. Bam a Lamb, and she's always ready. Bam a Lamb, whoa, Black Betty, Bam a Lamb, whoa, Black Betty, Bam a Lamb. Whatever happened to him? disappeared into oblivion. I know I heard that he had been uh, painting for a while. He went out to L.A., hung out there a while. Retired. He just won't answer anybody's phone calls. <laughs> Rolling Stone magazine labeled Black Betty the silliest song of 1978. 77. That's what they said. Silliest song of 1977. Well, somebody out in the Midwest once asked us when we were on the road if it was about having sex with sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Black Betty, Bam a Lamb. No, no, it's it's L A M, not L A M B. <laughs> the song should have been a number one hit nationally, at least. But uh, because the NAACP put up a big stink about it, L A and New York, which are the two biggest markets in the United States, refused to play the record. And back, Why? Why would it, uh, <clears throat> because they said it was degrading to black people, which I mean we thought was ridiculous, especially because it was written by a black guy. As far as we know, Lead Belly had written the song, and uh, you know we just didn't understand the whole thing. Oh, black Betty, bam the lamb. Oh, black Betty, bam the lamb. Black Betty had a baby. Bam the lamb. Black Betty had a baby. Bam the lamb. Them thing going crazy. Bam the lamb. Them thing going crazy. Bam the lamb. Oh, black Betty. Bam the lamb. Oh, black Betty. Bam the lamb. Oh, it's all to his Betty, estate because he's the one that's credited as the writer. Betty, yeah. lamb, and and it, the, Betty, the bad part about that is. <laughs> Bill wrote two of those verses. So there's three verses in the song, he wrote two of them, and he doesn't get a penny. They wouldn't, they wouldn't, allow, they wouldn't allow us to release it if, they ins if we insisted on Bill getting paid for it. And knowing that Lead Belly also stole it from Folk. Somebody else, right? Oh, Lord, Black Betty, down the land. Oh, Lord, it's Black Betty, down the land. Black Betty had it too, down the land. Black Betty had it too, down the land. And the damn thing treated, down the land. And the damn thing treated, down the land. And she dipped his head and breathed. Yeah, that sounded right to me. I mean, that, that. I liked that even better than the Lead Belly version that I heard, because yeah. it just, I liked the these guys in the background singing the Bama Lambs and stuff. That was cool. When my son first went to college, he was looking through his roommate's iPod. He sees Ram Jam, he says to the kid, you've got, you got Ram Jam on your iPod? <laughs> he goes, yeah, it's the best driving song ever made. <laughs> It's the weird thing is like it it, it uh, went into obscurity kind of for like 15 years. But now it's all over the place. Kids have got it's like I heard it's like one of the top 20 ringtones, download ringtones. They play it at stadiums. I, I've heard it at Yankee Stadium. Yep. I was like, wow. With it, I'm sitting there going, that's that's it. people. Like, people aren't. <laughs> like that. And you understand who that is? I, I was in that band. Anyway. 